Um, uh, today I want to talk a little bit about this uh, cool app I learned the other day uh, called Hi Native. Um, because of my work, <laughs> that the app has the word native in it, 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 it scares me a little bit, but um, it's a pretty uh, fun app. And um, let's see. So a few days ago, I I saw this uh, video by Latina Saram, um, where she was recommending, hey, check out this app called Hi Native. It helps you learn languages. So uh, I'm not necessarily learning languages, but I've been doing this hobby, uh, this thing as a hobby of. Uh, teaching Korean to people so I went to check it out and it was great um, so <clears throat> it reminds me a lot of the of this old application called Artvark. Uh it is an app it is an, uh, this is a service that ran around the late 2000s that um, it connected people with questions and 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 those questions pop up when you Google talk so you're just working and, 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 and you list your interest and uh, every once in a while a question about, I don't know, about GIS or a question about probably something that you ex excel or something pops up, you answer a question and get on with your day. It's the perfect brain break because after working for like an hour, your brain needs to take a little bit of break, but it's hard to time yourself to, to be taking those breaks. So. Um, you know, do something else that distracts you and get back to work. It was, it was great and so much fun. So high native is a little bit like that. You go around and answer questions um, about language. Um, and uh, it has six different modes of interacting with the system um, where you can ask uh, uh, different things that are f f um, in, a diff in a specific format. So I think in this market, the biggest player right now is uh, HelloTalk. And uh, this app has, I think, has worked around a lot of these uh, shortcomings of HelloTalk. I remember one of the biggest things with HelloTalk, HelloTalk relies on the synergy that's generated from two people, you know, getting to know each other and talking and learning the language, uh, teaching each other the language but relies a lot in that. So people have been abusing that and using it to, to um, uh, harass, uh, sexually harass uh, the users. And on High Native here, it's impossible to contact these users unless they themselves voluntarily provided a contact method. You can only answer, you can only interact with them in this specific contact with this, which is uh, answering a question. So all this is great. Um, and it, it, for, it forces you to focus on that. I think this this like pre-made templates where um, you you either say something or you either uh, write something and you ask for feedback or ask for the meaning. I think this is all great. Um, and there, I think there are some shortcomings that I wish uh, it, it fixed. Um, one thing is at the basic level, people do ask uh, almost the same thing, like this kind of question, like how do you say hi? How do you say hi? How do you say hi? And so forth. They are like, there's about 50 questions that you see. I mean, if you're kind of addicted to this, you see very often. And um, a lot of them go unanswered because it's kind of boring to, for anyone, it's kind of boring to see them over and over. And because of these questions, which is fine, that people want to know that, but because of these questions, the questions, the more elaborate questions can kind of get, um, uh, run uh, can run over a bit so I think uh, there's many things that this could be could be improved on one thing is if you ask a question and especially if you start saying how do you say this and how do you say I don't know silly there should be an autocomplete that forms here like in uh, many company knowledge base systems that looks up this keyword based on uh, other keywords and shows you uh, the most highly rated questions that had this keyword on them. Um, so you'd be like, oh, I don't even need to ask my question. It's right there. Someone else already asked them and I'm going to go look up their answers. Um, another thing is uh, 
uh, people, uh, there's a lot of feedback between people who are learning the language. Like things like "hello" uh, can be answered by anyone. Any, anyone, you start learning a language, and in a few seconds, you do learn uh, the language. And um, uh, so, I think this should be capitalized on. And if someone sees a question and they're like, "Wow, this is this is very thoughtful." I never thought about this uh, grammar, but I'm curious how this will uh, be asked, how this will be answered. They can bookmark it, but um, instead of bookmarking, I think people should be able to upvote or downvote, like on Reddit, um, the the questions. Like this one, I really wish this one got upvoted, so they, they keep upvoting it, and the ones that upvote it should float further to the top longer, so that it gets more visibility and higher chance of getting answered. That would be great. Um, some other things is, there's this part where you ask, uh, how do you, no, what does this mean? So uh, this is um, what I've been always uh, talking about, which is all of this will end up in translation requests pretty much. But if you just look it up on a dictionary, Oftentimes we don't find because it's a specific usage of a specific word. And when that happens, it might help to give people the option to provide, oh, here is, oh, okay, I guess this. Yeah, here's additional information. But um, it would be good if people could type up an entire thing, like blah, 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 blah. And they're like, oh, okay, out of this entire context, this one word, um, I don't understand which can be achieved using this uh, tool right here, but it would be better if it was integrated. I can see how you, for simplicity's sakes, you would be moved to do it this format, but um, that way I think I encourage people to ask more context-aware questions, and uh, it would be more interesting also for the people to answer, getting more of the context where, like, where did this weird term come from? Oh, it's because you was in some internet forum about StarCraft, or um, so that would be helpful. Uh, what else? Uh, further filtering. I would like to filter people by skill level, and I'm really curious what people at the very high level of the language are asking, um, and make sure that those questions don't go un unanswered, because those are the f more fun challenges uh, to address. Only voice questions. I don't know who put this up. It's yeah, I guess some people would might would want to do, um, and, and and something else that's been coming up and people have been working around this is how do you say this? It's unclear whether you want a voice answer or a written answer. And oftentimes people only provide one, and then people are like, oh, but I also want something else, and you are encouraged to make the guess based on the question maker's skill level. So if they're very low skill level, you should probably type it out for them. If they're media, intermediate, you can just say it and then they'll figure out how to spell it. But um, maybe there should be like a checkbox or something here where it says, well, I also I want only a voice answer or I want only or I want both. So people, I don't know. And based on I, whether I only want or whatever, when you are mobile, when you don't feel like typing, you could just search for answer for questions where a voice answer is sought. Vo only a voice answer is sought. And I think they contacted the support for, uh, which is this uh, turns off um, questions that don't have answers, but they still have, let's see, this one, no, it's not an answer. But they still have answers like this one by people whose primary language is not Korean. Um, sometimes I may be wrong, but a lot of times they only answer easy questions so um, so I want to skip those two questions that already have an answer uh, and yeah if they fix this that it will be very very uh, a fun system to lose time help other people and uh, yeah have fun um, so uh, I highly encourage uh, it's lots of fun and uh, I put an announcement here <laughs> for the uh, Korean language sessions I'm doing in English, I mean in Spanish. Wait, where do you go? Here it is. How long does this stay on sticky? I still see it. 
um, and there's a lot of interest right now like it's like the chatter is like boiling up so <laughs> I'm a little scared um, I'm not sure yet what to do today because we're gonna have I think we're gonna have a good mix of people who don't read Korean yet despite the instructions and um, a lot of people who are like barely read so we should have something simple and um, I'm thinking maybe we should have something uh, something simple <coughs> like you know some like studying tips maybe studying tips where to go for information um, what else I don't know uh, how to ask questions in a, more, in a more useful manner on high native. Oh gosh, I hope that's gonna be enough. We'll see. <laughs>